for the first time in probably close to three years, I have two separate quarantine tanks going. I've gone away the past two weekends, and both weekends I came home with fish. Now, that wasn't why I was traveling, but if I'm anywhere that has a fish store, I'm going to check it out. First up is a female blue throat trigger, as well as a female swallowtail angel. I got these guys in Barrie, Ontario, when I was a couple hours away from there for a wedding. Since there's no fish stores here, I'll certainly make an effort to go to one whenever I have the chance. While there is one place I can order fish from, and I could probably get them from a couple other places, I really prefer to see them in person and make a decision in person. Uh, for instance, this store had a nice pair of swallowtail angels, but they were considerably bigger. So I decided to go with the little female and this female blue throat trigger. It's the first time I've had a trigger in probably close to 12 years. As you can see, they're both eating well. I've been feeding them a cube of PE mices a day, as well as mixing in LRS and some other foods. My quarantine setups are super simple and anyone who has any size fish tank should be able to do something similar. It still amazes me that people will dump fish into their tank and just hope for the best. This is a 10 gallon tank, which costs about $10. Uh, I used water change water, a PVC elbow, an airline and airline stone, and a heater. That's it. You can actually see they're sitting on the floor in my spare room. Uh, normally I do keep them on a shelf, but it's just easier to have them on the floor where I can observe the fish and drain the tanks real quick. I use the tank transfer method, so they're in the tank for 72 hours or less, then transferred to a new 10 gallon tank. Uh, for the purpose of this video, I took off the egg crate, but because these are larger fish, I just use egg crate to cover the tanks so they don't jump. These guys came in a bit of lower salinity, so I've just been raising it with evaporation. In between transfers, I dry out the tank, the heater, and the pipe and it's ready to go when the fish is ready to go back in this tank 72 hours later. On the right hand side I have lightning maroon clownfish. I got these guys after a concert in Detroit Rock City. I was there to see MC5 and on my way home I had to stop at at least one reef store. When you go into a fish store you never know what you're gonna find. They had multiple pairs of maroon clownfish, uh, lightning maroon clownfish that is. And I managed to pick these guys up for just $40 each. It wasn't too long ago that they were $400 each. The female has beat up the male a little bit. I actually had a tank divider in there, but they managed to sneak through that. Uh, they are eating well as well. And after they complete tank transfer, they will go into my 90 gallon tank. Uh, since that tank has no other fish, I'm really only concerned about ick. They are also being treated with Prazipro, just in case they have gill flukes or any other kind of internal parasites. But since there are no other fish for them to infect, once I know they are for sure ick free, they're free to go into their display tank. The trigger and the angel though are going in my main display tank, so those guys will be quarantined for up to an additional 30 or so days. Since they will be in the small tank longer term, I will add a sponge filter and keep an eye on the ammonia with an ammonia alert badge. However, when you're doing the tank transfer method, in three days, unless you're piling in the food or you have a fish that is pooping 24-7, you're not going to create enough ammonia in 72 hours to poison the fish. Uh, the only things you really got to watch out for is salinity and it's a good time to observe the fish. Some people will say that this is stressful. Uh, sick fish are a lot more stressed than healthy fish. Get your fish healthy, get your fish eating, get them ready to potentially take a pounding from your current fish, and more than likely things will work out. Seriously, everybody quarantine your fish. Thanks for watching, and happy reefing.